Hi there, my name is Matt Wade, an Office 365 MVP and AI enthusiast working here on AtBot, the premier bot as a service solution for the Microsoft Cloud. In this video, I'm gonna provide a quick introduction to Chatbot and AI technology, and specifically how you can use AtBot to build out smart, robust chatbots that automate everyday work with little or no coding required. So first, a question that we get a lot is, why would we ever need a chatbot at our organization? Well, for the same reasons that you use a ticketing system for your IT service desk or a CRM for your customer service team or an expense reporting tool for your finance department, for the same reasons you take knowledge management and internal communication seriously, organizing and automating work saves time and it saves money. So let's talk about how. First, a bot gets you access to existing data that you already have, but it gets you there through a natural conversation without having to jump between a dozen different systems. Next, a bot can provide knowledgeable answers to common and even not so common questions, saving a lot of time for people who usually receive those questions. Also, it's available 24 seven. And a bot can do things. I can tell a bot to schedule a meeting with my manager sometime tomorrow to talk about next year's budget and the bot can just do it for me. We have a lot of data strewn around so many places. Uh, if this looks familiar to you, you're not that unique. These systems generally don't talk to each other, some are legacy systems we just can't get rid of yet, and a lot of them represent separate cloud services that have no relation to each other. We may think it's organized, but it's not at all. Your colleagues jump around from app to service to feature all day long, just wasting serious amounts of time. But a bot can bring the experience of all those tools together into one place. So imagine an IT help bot where you can request the guest Wi-Fi password and get a new email account added to your device. One is knowledge, the other is dependent action. Both connect to data systems you already have, and both, if you want, can automatically file a ticket with your favorite IT help desk tool behind the scenes. That means you've got the metrics and the credit for how effective your bot is. So a good bot gets things done and provides you knowledge you need anytime you need it through a natural conversational interface. For a bot to be good at what it does, it needs to excel at three things. Understanding what is said to it, taking action based on that input, and knowing the answers to questions when asked. AtBot uses the best tools in the Microsoft Cloud to accomplish this. Plus, it brings in a little bit of magic of its own on the platform. So here we have three legs of a stool that represents a good bot. Let's talk about how AtBot gets this done. To understand incoming language, AtBot uses Azure's Language Understanding Intelligent Service, or LUIS. LUIS takes what it's told and kicks off the correct business process based on how it's trained to understand your organization's vernacular. To provide knowledgeable information, AtBot uses Azure's Q&A Maker, which is like a jazzed up search engine. Tie a single correct answer to the various ways to ask the associated question. But what really makes AtBot stand out is its logic engine. We use Microsoft Flow, the no-code workflow tool for Office 365 to get things done. Now you can go off and build your own custom developed bot, but it's gonna require a legitimate team to build, project manage, test, and then of course maintain, never forget the total cost of ownership aspect of a custom application. And it's gonna take a lot of time to build, cost a lot of money just to think about scaling or building new bots based on the first one's success, and of course, it's a legitimate application that you have to maintain on your own forever. But not with AtBot. AtBot's a platform you build on top of. We did all the hard work for you. With AtBot, you can have actionable bots up and running in no time. AtBot's administrator portal is easy to use for anyone in the organization, which means local ownership and scalability. We use the gold standard for language understanding, our innovative connection to Flow means non-technical users can build, run, and own bots themselves, connecting to hundreds of Microsoft and third-party services out of the box. And with Q&A Maker, you can have an all-knowing bot in as long as it takes to write a couple FAQs. And you can do it all without code. AtBot democratizes the idea of building and owning impactful chatbots across an enterprise. But where can end users access AtBot? Well, we have two different ways for them to interact. The first is internally, where your bot knows who you are and can respond accordingly. AtBot lives natively in Microsoft Teams, but thanks to a technology called DirectLine, you can also drop AtBot into SharePoint, your intranet, or almost any web application. Then there's the external AtBot, which usually is hosted on a public website or mobile app to provide customer service, tech support, things like that. The users are anonymous to AtBot in this case. Again, thanks to DirectLine, you can drop your AtBot into pretty much any web app. 
But the nice thing is that if you're using Microsoft Teams, your ad bots can be available from day one directly in Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS, thanks to the Teams app. So let's take a task that many office workers have to deal with, submitting expenses. Regardless of whether you use a basic spreadsheet or a complex cloud reporting tool like Concur, nobody likes this process. It takes too much time, we all seem to wait to the last minute to try to collect receipts, and it's just frustrating. But with a bot, it can be as simple as reporting how much you spent on what on which day. The bot asks for a photo of the receipt. In the background, Microsoft Flow is leading the way. It's uploading the receipt, the item name, the cost, and the date to your favorite expense reporting tool, sending it to the right person for approval, and this can be done right alongside the transaction. Submit the receipt for your coffee while you wait for it to be made. So let's talk about how we built these. Once you register a bot in the Azure portal, it'll be available to anyone elevated to an ad bot administrator or contributor role. They don't have to be an IT admin, which means anyone can own their own bots and flows. You'll build out your trigger phrases in everyday language using Lewis, connect those triggers to your business processes and flow, spell out your FAQs and knowledge questions in Q&A Maker, then use the AtBot admin portal to bring everything together. Let's find out how. To kick off a flow, you've got to define the different ways someone can say the respective command. For example, you can say, I want to take time off tomorrow, or I'm taking some vacation time June 3rd through 9th. Ultimately, they mean the same thing, so you can easily train Lewis to understand the different utterances that imply the same intent. You can even variableize your input, so Lewis knows to expect time off dates, types, and who to run the approval through. AtBot can even make this information required, simplifying how you ask for input. We call these intent vectors. Go ahead and check out the video description for guidance on how to get started with Lewis. Once you have the Lewis app published, you can build your flow. Start with an AtBot trigger and flow and build out your process. In this example, we request the type of time off, sick or vacation, and the dates. Using Flow's built-in Office 365 user and approval connectors, you can have the request automatically route to the requester's manager. Once approved, AtBot pings the user with an update. If you have an HR tool like Workday, ADP, or SAP, you can connect to that system to schedule the time off and deduct the hours from a bank. AtBot can also automatically set up an out-of-office notification for the dates affected and even add an out-of-office appointment to the requester's Outlook calendar. The great thing about Flow is its massive list of out-of-the-box connectors. It's not just Microsoft tools that make up the 200 plus services that you can connect to. Popular cloud services like G Suite, Zendesk, Salesforce, and Adobe Sign are also included. If you use a cloud service that's not there, or you want to connect to on-premises data, you can create a quick web connection to this data. Pretty much anything with a web API is supported, so you can build complex and all-encompassing business processes with Flow. Flow makes AtBot a no-code option, but it also makes AtBot a development platform, you know, if you want it to be. For all of those questions that get asked over and over and over, you can use Q&A Maker to create a more informed corporate culture. Building your knowledge base is easy and supplements your document repositories and search engine with a simple but powerful way to connect users to the right answer and source for important and frequent questions. Simply add a new Q&A pair with a well thought out but succinct response and provide all the different ways someone could ask that question. Check out the video description for best practices when working with Q&A Maker. The real magic comes from the AtBot admin portal. Each flow that uses the AtBot trigger will be available in our simple but powerful portal. AtBot administrators can create and manage multiple branded bots for various use cases. You can even assign contributors to own individual bots and flows in the same way you can assign individual SharePoint site owners. AtBot uses categories to organize flows, and these categories are assigned to individual bots. You can permission protect a category so only certain users can use them. So for example, you could have an HR bot that's assigned to categories, flows that everyone needs access to, and flows only HR employees need access to. The HR bot can react appropriately when an HR rep tells the bot to start the onboarding process for a new employee, and when a member of the finance team asks to take time off. The admin portal makes it easy to connect to your Q&A maker knowledge base, update the help and default messages for the bot, and even test the bot live. If you were building your own bot from scratch, all of this would require code and take place in the Azure portal. And you definitely don't want ordinary bot owners to have access to your Azure portal. So that's a quick intro to how AdBot brings no code chatbot technology to your enterprise. You can try AdBot for free uh, from the Microsoft Teams store. 
Our free pink ad bot comes with up to six flows to share within your organization, and each user gets up to three personal flows, which can help you automate work that only you do. And when you're ready to bring in the power of the admin portal and Q&A maker, check out AtBot Enterprise. Claim your 30-day free trial of AtBot Enterprise today. Check out our Jumpstart Guide, linked in the video description, for more information. AtBot offers a lot to get your organization more automated, efficient, and built for a 21st century self-service mindset. Find out more about AtBot today from these great resources. And we're always here to answer your questions. Just email hello at atbot.io today.